Welcome back at the half here on the PAC Sports Network, and we're joined by Mike Worrell, head coach of the Bethany Bison. Coach, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Randy. Appreciate it. Now, coach, uh, you wear a number of hats at Bethany, and you're in your first year as head coach of the men's basketball squad, also serving as the associate director of athletics for the college. What's it been like juggling those roles and also dealing with the challenges that COVID represents at the moment? Yeah, there's been some difficulty in, as you said, juggling all those positions. I was uh, the main athletic director for eight or nine months just till last week. Just had a lot of stuff going on this summer with the new turf football field, hiring new coaches, just, and taking over the basketball in June. It was kind of a, a whirlwind summer. And all of a sudden, basketball, you know, got, got upon us really quick. And I, you know, I probably wasn't as ready as I should have been that time. There was, there was a lot going on at that time. Now, you spent 22 years as the head coach at Illinois College before coming to Bethany, uh, where you led uh, Illinois to an NCAA tournament appearance, as well as uh, winning the Midwest Conference Coach of the Year Award multiple times. Uh, how do you hope that the, that past success will translate here at Bethany? I'm not sure if it equates to, to anything here, Randy. It's kind of a start from scratch here right now. So I didn't do any coaching for two years when I came here and helped out some last year. Back into a full time again this year, but you know, it's just a matter of putting the right pieces together, and it's it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight here, that's for sure. Now, as far as the coaching staff, your son Lucas is an associate head coach for the team. Uh, you know, how much fun has it been to be able to coach alongside your son? Uh, he he helped me my last year at Illinois College, and then, and he. Uh, assisted at McMurray College and was a graduate assistant at Ashland University Division II school the past two years. So he, he's basically volunteering here, here for us to, to help me some and had some surgery right around Thanksgiving. So him and our graduate assistant, Brandon Thorson, had basically run the team for about three weeks there. So I'm sure grateful to have the help then, as it turns out. Yes, much needed. Much needed. Yeah. Now, it's been a bit of a tough start for, to the season for Bethany. Uh, multiple postponements as well because of COVID. Uh, give us your take on the year to this point and how the team has handled the adversity of the multiple postponements. Yeah, it's been difficult, Randy. Um, you know, we lost a couple people right around final exam, to, you know, mid December there. Picked up a couple of people here for second semester. And once we got our new additions, we really, now we're just into playing games. There's not really much time to practice and with all the makeup games and the, every school in the country is having to do. We're not getting much practice time. It's just playing games. And we've shown signs at times that we could be competitive, but we just have not been consistently defensively. and. and you know, we'll put it together in spurts. We just got to somehow one of these nights put a 40-minute 40, 40 game together and see what happens, give ourselves a chance. Now, looking at some of your players, and we'll start with seniors Derek White Jr. and Trent Uphold, both starters and regulars for the Bison in recent years. How have they stepped up into a leadership role this season? Oh, they both done well, Randy. D D Derek White is our point guard. It's been a four-year player. Trent Uphold has been injured off and on the last couple of years, maybe only played a couple of games last year and has had some ankle problems and even missed a week this year. Um, but those two guys we rely on for, for, like you said, a lot of leadership for us. Junior Asa Klimchak in his second year with the Bison. He is a transfer from Division II Clarion University, the team's leading scorer. How has Klimchak continued to progress now in his second season with Bethany? He, he came last year, Randy. It was his first year at Bethany. and We've relied on him more to be a scorer for us this year. And you know, most nights he's done that for us. Yeah. He's going to have to continue to do that for us to give us a chance. 
junior Brendan Riggs, uh, second in the PAC in three-point percentage last season. He's in the top five again this year as well. Uh, what kind of threat is Riggs on the perimeter for Bethany? He's our main shooter from, from three. And, uh, you know, some nights it's been hard for him to get open looks because people know, you know that's, his, that's his thing, shooting three-pointers. If we can get him freed up, you know, that's in the games we've been somewhat competitive and the game we won, we get him free for some threes. And when he, when he hits some of those, that, that gives us a, a good chance that night. Rounding out your starting lineup is Travis Zimmerman. He's a sophomore for your team from nearby Wheeling Park High School in West Virginia. How do you feel year two has gone for Zimmerman this season? Travis keeps progressing, you know, game to game. And, you know, we think once he fills out and matures and gets a little, little, little bigger and he could be he could be a force in the conference and he still has some nights where he puts up some big numbers for us and, you know with everybody we play has a couple of physical big men inside and it, you know they try to get physical with it but we think he still hasn't shown yet what he could do eventually in the future now, you mentioned there are some newcomers to the roster as of late. And, you know, aside from the regular starters that we've talked about, who else are you hoping that will step up uh, here down the stretch in the second half of the season? Off the bench, the last two games, we didn't play for 29 days. So it was almost like start from scratch last Saturday. Uh, Julian McGee comes off the bench for us from Pittsburgh and Tyler Block from Columbus. And Nate Harris is a backup point guard couple of new guys we have really have only practiced like two times. So they haven't gotten a mix yet. And, you know, maybe towards the end of this season when it gets conference tournament time, we could have a couple of new people playing more at that time. Now we're at the half of today's game is the Bethany Bison hosting Franciscan University. And earlier this season, Bethany picked up a 103 to 100 victory over Franciscan. Uh, the Barons, as we said, today's opponent. Give us your thoughts on today's matchup and, uh, you know, what your hopes are as far as your team. Uh, how, how do you need to replicate what you did the last time around to pick up another victory? Well, they press a lot. It's an up-tempo game with Franciscan. They take a lot of threes and they, they trap a lot on defense, force a lot of turnovers, and we're going to have to limit our turnovers against them for sure. We, we had a lot that first game. Kind of held on for dear life at the end to, to win that game, but they have a couple really good guards. and Zimmerman, who's a really good, I call him a power forward point guard because he brings the ball up a lot. He's very good for them. Gets a lot of rebounds. And he's a, you know, gets them a lot of shots. He's a good driver. And they have, a, you know, some good shooters. And we're going to have to defend the three and be ready for a press offense and not turn the ball over as much. That's Coach Mike Whirl of the Bethany Bison. Coach, thanks for your time today, and uh, good luck in the second half and the rest of the season as well. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate it. We'll have the second half of today's game when we come back in just a moment.